I'm going to just speak to you for a quick moment and to welcome you all here. This is very exciting to have all the seventh grade winners from across the whole city. Um, your children are about to take part in the history of Rockton. This building was built in 1876. It was over near the site of the current West Library. It was moved over here in 1963. So this is a very exciting time that you are part of Rockton's very long history and we're proud of each and every one of you. I'm going to turn over to Mrs. McGrath. Great. Welcome everyone, good morning. I'm Mrs. McGrath, principal of the Raymond School. I'm, I'm thrilled to be here. I always come each year to chair on my third, fourth, and fifth graders, so it's nice to be working with the older students. So like I told them upstairs, they're already winners. Okay, they've already com competed at their own schools and they've beat out their whole grade level. So can we give them a round of applause because they're already <laughs> and when, I, when I say your name, can you just stand up and give everybody a wave? So first we have Matthew Turco, he's representing the Ashfield. Welcome Matthew. We have Zeri Andrad from the Davis School. We have Kiara Atkins Houghton from East. And next we have Robert Barry representing South. No. no. Oh, I'm sorry. Kamani Kenneth Anderson. Sorry, representing North, my neighbor, right, right across the street from the Raymond. And we have Saeed Blanc representing North. Welcome. Peter Johnson from the Pluff School. Welcome, Peter. Damian Lewis coming up from the Plus School as well. We have Jalen Evans, representing Trinity. And we have Stefan LaFortune from Trinity. And then Jason Delahoy from West. Good job, everyone. Okay, so I'll just quickly go over the rules for today's spelling bee. The contestant, which, um, which you all are, as we talked about upstairs, you'll be instructed to say the word spell the word and then say it again. The contestant may request that the pronouncer repronounce the word, define it, or use it in a sentence. Judges are available to provide dictionary definitions. Upon missing the spelling of a word, the contestant immediately drops out of the contest. The same word on my list is given to the next person. Okay, so the next contestant will be given that same word. If all remaining contestants are eliminated by a specific word, then all of you will be given a new word and proceed as above. In order to be cleared a winner, the student must correctly spell the last word missed as well as any additional word. Does anyone have any questions before we begin? Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you. You've met Mrs. McGrath, who is our Raymond School principal and the moderator for grade seven. I want to introduce Mr. John Lally, our board six city councilor, and Mrs. Shirley Asa, our board seven. Okay, so when I when I say your name, you'll stand up, I'll give you the word, and we'll proceed from there. So first up, Matthew, please stand. Your word is gradual. Gradual. G-R-A-D-U-A-L, gradual. Nice job. Next, we have Zairi. Did I say it right? Say it again for me. Zairi. Zairi, got it. Okay, Zairi, your word is candidate. Candidate. C-A-N-D-I-T-A-T-E, candidate. You are correct. Kiara, your word is ancestry. Ancestry, A N C E S T. Can you repeat that? Ancestry. Ancestry, A N C E S T R Y. Ancestry. You are correct. Kamani, your word is anywhere. Um, anywhere. A N Y W H. E R E anywhere. You are correct. Saeed, your name is aspect. Um, your name. Your word is aspect. Aspect. A S P E C T. Aspect. You are correct. And Peter, your word is ballot. Ballot. B 
B-A-L-L-O-T, ballot. You're correct. Damien, your word is tyrant. Tyrant. T-Y-R-A-N-T. You are correct. Jalen, your word is irritation. Irritation. I-R-R-I-T-A-T-I-O-N. Irritation. You are correct. Stefan, your word is neighborly. Can you repeat the word? Please? Neighborly. Neighbor, neighborly. N-E-I-G-H-O-R-L-Y. Neighborly. Sorry, you are incorrect. Jason, your word is neighborly. Neighborly. N-E-I-G-H-B-O-R-L-Y. You are correct. Okay, Matthew. Your word is preliminary. Preliminary. P-R-O-L-I-M-I-N-A-R-Y. I'm sorry, you are incorrect. Zairi, <coughs> your word is preliminary. Can you repeat that, please? Preliminary. Pre can you please repeat that? Preliminary. Preliminary. P R I M L A R Y. Preliminary. I'm sorry, you are incorrect. Kamani. No, sorry, Kiera. Your word is preliminary. Preliminary. P R E L. I am I I A R Y Clement. You are correct. Okay. Kamani, your word is budgeting. Budgeting. B U D You say that word again? Sure. Budgeting. B U D G E T R N G. Budgeting. You are correct. Saeed, your word is dehydration. Dehydration. D E H I D R A T I O N. Dehydration. Sorry, you are incorrect. We have Peter. Your word is dehydration. Dehydration. D E H Y D R A T I O N. Dehydration. You are correct. Damien, your word is diagnosis. Diagnosis. D I A G N O S I S. Diagnosis. You are correct. Jalen, your word is disposal. Disposal. D I S P O S A L. Disposal. You are correct. Stefan, your word is discoloration. Stefan was out. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Jason, your word is discoloration. Discoloration. D I S C O L O R A T I O N. Discoloration. You are correct. Okay, so next up would be, just yeah. so I have it right, Kiara. Yeah. Yep. Okay, your word is anxiety. Anxiety. A N X I E T Y. Anxiety. You are correct. Okay. Kamani, your word is exercise. Exercise. E X E R. C I S E exercise. You are correct. Peter, your word is employee. Employee. E M P L O Y. Could I, could I start again? Yes. Employee. E M P L O Y E E employee. You are correct. Damien, your word is illiterate. Can you say that again? Illiterate. Illiterate. 
I L L I T E R A T E. Illiterate. You are correct. Next one is Jalen. Mm -hmm. Your word is knitted. Can you please try a definition? Sure. <coughs> knitted. What if I put it in a sentence first? Is that okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. A knitted hat should be worn when it's cold outside. So you want to give him the definition of the root word knit? Oh, sure. um, to make a fabric or garment by interlocking loops of yarn or thread, either by hand or by these knitting needles or by a machine. Okay. Knitted. K N I T T E D. Knitted. You are correct. Jason? Your word is famine. Could I please have it in a sentence? Sure. The famine caused great distress to the town that suffered from this event. Famine. F A M O N? Famine? Sorry, that is incorrect. We have next. I yeah. just want to make sure. Peter? Peter? No. Oh, sorry, Kiara. Kiara? Okay. Kiara, your name is, your, your name is Kiara. Getting a little nervous here now. Your word is famine, honey. Famine. F-A-M-I-N-E. Famine? You are correct. Next is Kamani. Sorry about that, Kamani. Your word is justice. Justice. G, I mean, J, U, S T I C E justice. You are correct. Peter, your word is inscription. <coughs> inscription. I N S C R I P T I O N. Inscription? You are correct. Damien, your word is instrument. Instrument. I N S T R U M E N T instrument. You are correct. Jalen, your word is jeopardize. Cab definition? Sure. <clears throat> Can we just, um, just for my records, go over who's still left in the competition? Kiara. Well, Jason is next. Then we have mm -hmm. Kiara. Oh, no, Jason's, so. Jason's oh, Jason. out. That's, oh, sorry. That's okay. I'm glad I'm not Jason the only one missing on things out. Right. Okay. okay. So we have Kiara, Kamani, Peter, Damian, Jalen. Great. Okay, that's what I had. Okay. So... Who did we leave off with? I'm sorry, now I'm getting confused. So, Kiara is next. All right, Kiara, your word is misunderstood. Misunderstood. M I S U N D E R S T O O D. Misunderstood. You are correct. Kamani, your word is receiver. Receiver. R, R E C. Can you use it? Have the definition. Sure. Okay. 
receiveth. One who or that which receives, one who knowingly receives or buys stolen goods, spends, or one appointed by a court of law to take charge of and administer the property or business of others, pending the outcome of litigation, as when a company becomes bankrupt. Uh, receiver, R E C I E. V-E-R, receiver. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Peter, your word is receiver. Receiver. R-E-C-I-E-V-E-R, receiver. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Damien, your word is receiver. Receiver. R E C E I V E R receiver. You are correct. Jalen, your word is secretary. Secretary. S E C O E T A O Y. Secretary. You are correct. Kiara, yeah. your word is yogurt. Yogurt. W O G U R T. Yogurt. Sorry, you are incorrect. Kamani? Oh. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Damien. Damien, your word is yogurt. Yogurt. Y O G U R T. Yogurt. You are correct. Jalen, your word is badger. God definition. Sorry, that is incorrect. <coughs> Damien, the word is badger. Badger. B A D G E R. Badger. You are correct. So now you have one more word. Stay up. The next word is humiliation. Humiliation. H U M I L I A T I O N. Humiliation. You are correct. We have a winner. Great, boys and girls. You did an excellent job. You really did. Good job, everyone. That was tough. That was stressful. All right. So I'm going to invite Miss Connell to come up, and she has prizes to present to our top three winners. And I know that all contestants today will be receiving a nice certificate from your school, so you can you know, hang that in an area at home. You should be very proud of, okay? Good job. Oh, thank you, everyone. Um, congratulations to all of you. You are here um, after great competitions in your schools. As Mrs. McGrath just said, you'll be getting um, a certificate that you can frame and put on your wall from the Little Red Schoolhouse um, yes. to all. I right now would like to um, award a small prize to the third uh, place winner. The, we have um, some book gift certificates to a place called Paperback Junction in Northeastern. There are directions and telephone numbers in some of them for you, but it's right in Northeastern. So the first person I'd like to have up is Kiara. Kiara at For our second place winner, I have Jalen Evans.
And the first place winner is Damian Lewis. Remember, boys and girls, hold your heads up high. You should be very proud of yourselves. It was stiff competition at your schools, and you did a great job representing your middle school. So congratulations again to all of us.